What does a wiggly worm, child mercenaries, and a pansexual cape wearer have in common? They can all be found in the new movie, Solo, A Star Wars Story. This week is all about that galaxy far, far away and how the franchise has gotten to where it is today. After opening weekend, reports show mediocre box office numbers. So we are here to discuss whether this entry in the ultra-popular franchise helped or harmed it. Remember to shoot first and never trust a man with scars on his face, especially when he has Mandalorian armor in his office. I've got a good feeling about this episode of Wreck My Franchise. It'll get it. All right, so we're here. Whoa. All right, so we're here for an episode of Wreck My Franchise. I didn't bring a script, so it's going to be ridiculous and off the rails. Now, you guys have never been here before. We have some new guests here. We have Cam, just gave the peace sign. Don't don't be throwing up gang signs, man. I'm sorry. Come on. And then we have <laughs> Cole gotta, at the end there. Um, you guys are also Star Wars nerds, correct? Absolutely. All yep. right, so you will have a lot of input here. And you may need to help me a little bit because... Uh, I was kind of discussing with you guys earlier. I had a we had a terrible one of the worst theater experiences of my life. So it was very hard to kind oh, of that's a, that's a little dramatic. No, it was it was pretty it bad. It was bad, <laughs> and it was, uh, bad. it was really hard for me to focus and kind of keep track of names and what was going on and plot points and stuff because I just wanted to turn around and punch the people behind me. Right. So you might need to help me out with some names if I'm like, who's that character with all the crazy the the Metroid uh, Prime character with all the <laughs> Metroid yeah. Prime. <laughs> Her name was cool though, wasn't it? It was like Proxima, not Proxima Midnight. What was it? <laughs> That's was it Proxima? That was the that was the scary jingle the, worm, right? Yeah, the weird, the weird not, worm. What I didn't was like that, that worm. Yeah, I didn't like <laughs> it at all. Worm, yes. um, so yeah, you guys might need to help me out with that. Um, <laughs> and so we have some familiar faces and familiar voices, depending on what you're listening to as well. We have Kipka and we have Joe. They've been on many episodes before. True Kipka story. is our reigning, defending, undisputed Universal Champion of '90s theme song trivia. Oh, so oh. maybe one day he'll get that title taken the away. One win. The one win. The one win. And <laughs> you'll also notice our set's a little different. We moved into the 21st century, and we no longer have a wall of Betamax tapes. They're all in the dumpster. Well, so those are slowly going to be going more and more as well, because we are a technology company that still has Betamax tapes for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so moving right along, can you even get a Betamax player? Uh, I think we have one left, but I don't even think it works. Mm. But anyway, let's move into what the people really want to hear about Star Wars. So before we get into Solo, we'll do a little bit of talk about Star Wars and what we like about Star Wars real quick um, in case someone wants to listen Not to this much. without spoilers. <laughs> and then we'll say, hey, we're going to spoil Solo in case you want to listen to that later. So first off, I want to ask. What was your first experience with Star Wars? Like, how long have you been into it? Since a kid, or is it something more recent you've been into? I think I know the answers to most everyone here, but let's just go down real quick. We'll start with Cole. Um, oh, man. I would say when I was a kid, Dad and I were just, you know, watching TV. Happened to be on TV. Yeah. And uh, started there. Probably started... I didn't start in order. Started with Empire. Okay. And then once he knew I was into it, we started watching the other ones. Yeah. And then, obviously, when I was young, uh, Phantom Menace came out. Mm-hmm. So, and that kind of. Your dad was a fan of it before. So, when it was on TV, he was kind of, or was he kind of getting into it at that point, too? I don't know if he was really a fan, mm-hmm. but he thought I would like it. So, okay. I think that's why we watched These it. These kids would like yeah. this. <laughs> this crazy sci fi. Yeah. All right. How about you, Cam? Uh, yeah. So, I watched Star Wars with my mom, actually, the first okay. time. And she just pulled out the the three vhs set that you have yes this bad there. boy right here which yeah. i'm actually i think missing one of them uh, the, i think it's lost at mount rushmore on a family trip when i was a child <laughs> that's, a, that's a shame i know right <laughs> um yeah and then my uncle was only four years older than me mm-hmm. he's my mom's little brother uh he had the the cards that you could collect oh wow and he and i would just like thumb through those and like we never played the game. He was just like, you can't touch these. But I like admired <laughs> all of them and then yeah. learned everybody's name. And you stole the Princess Leia in the slave outfit and, and took that home at and, night. And it's still <laughs> under my pillow. There you go. <laughs> How about you, Kip? Taped to the ceiling. I don't know. I, I think I've seen parts of them on TV before. Yeah, you're too cool. <laughs> Is that what's going on yeah, here? I don't know. I'm so exactly cool. I'm casual and cool. I never knew Star Wars was a cool thing ever. I don't know. I so just, you didn't watch I, it as a kid? I just I saw parts of it on TV. Oh, okay. I never never really heard people like saying like Star Wars is amazing. Well, you weren't so, hanging like, out with the right people then. It wasn't <laughs> until the last <laughs> few years. Who the heck were you hanging out with? It's like really cool. I don't I don't know. Yeah, what, who are you? Yeah, who are you? Get out of here. What about you, Joe? <laughs> um, I remember 
going on a family vacation. Uh, we were going camping with some family friends and all going in a motor home and watching A New Hope on the same thing, VHS, you know, the trilogy tapes yeah. and watching all three of them on the way to camping. And it was excellent. Oh, I that's loved cool. It. And then going with my school when Phantom Menace came out um, with like my class yeah. to go to the theater to see it. And I mean, I've just loved Star Wars since then. Yeah, I think I'm the same way. I, I got into it when the re-releases came out in theater. I saw it for the first time. I was super stoked. I thought it was so cool. And then my next door neighbor's dad was like, oh, after I saw A New Hope, he was like, I got Empire Strikes Back on VHS if you wanna watch him. Like, this guy! He's got it already. It's not even out yet. I had no clue, you know. <laughs> and he's like, "Come on over. It's yeah. in my basement." And, it's cool. and you want some, a popsicle? Yeah, for some reason, my memory just goes blank after that. And <laughs> I just remember turning eighteen, and that's about it. That whole area was gone. But um, so, so most of you guys were introduced by like a family member. Yeah, yeah. That's what pretty it sounds much. Like. Yeah. I I went for like my tenth birthday. I think my parents took me so they didn't think i'd be as into it i think if they knew how into it i was going to get they might have not taken me and <laughs> give me a few more good years they, but um they didn't know it was going to they didn't know it was going to take life. over my life <laughs> and literally be on my wedding ring and my wife's gonna have a tattooed on her and all that kind of stuff so and look um, at our table uh, yeah i have a, i have quite a bit of uh star wars paraphernalia this is as my well. favorite character oh yes the ma- the, me- the mega man the, the mega, mega man, man down there <laughs> um so my next question i think it's safe to assume now, Kipka, you really weren't into it. You're not being facetious and funny. You really like weren't into it's it back like as the, a kid. No. Yeah, okay. Too cool for it. So it was just more recently. So I, I think we all agree, besides Kipka, I'm not sure, that the originals we probably enjoyed more than the prequels, which seems to be yeah, the running yeah. theme. Now, yeah. I'm a huge prequel apologist. Um, I actually enjoy the prequels still to this day. I was never one of those people that's like, ah, George Lucas ruined my franchise. But I was like, eh, it's got its place, it's time. It was fun when I was a kid nostalgia factor I still like it I know there's a lot of points where I'm like this is boring I'll just fast forward through this that's the benefit of having it on blu-ray and everything but what do you guys do you guys agree that you were into the like the originals were kind of your holy grail over the prequels or are you not part of that group that hates the prequels as much uh, it's a original trilogy or bust. Okay, so you're really against yeah, the prequels to I the am. point that you will not watch them um, not unless I'm doing like a marathon of all okay six that with came out. that being said how do you feel about the sequels you know what i uh, i don't know i don't have as much animosity towards those ones okay but they still aren't anywhere near the originals no and and it's, it's my theory that i was actually complaining about with him this morning uh we were both in the kitchen and i uh he's my roommate and my lover in the kitchen i just had to clarify <laughs> yeah um and i was thinking you know since we saw them so young, mm-hmm. watching that original trilogy, you can't recreate that initial punch that this franchise leaves on you mm-hmm. when you're young. Yeah. And it's this entire universe that was created. Totally. And then as you as you know, like you know where what every planet on the outer rim is mm-hmm. and you know every race and you know all these things and so you go in and you feel like you're a Star Wars expert so who are they to tell you like what Star Wars is yeah right? is that a nostalgia factor I mean, more than a factor it's like yeah. it's like a nostalgia like encyclopedia yeah. like it's it's in there and that's who you are and so i've kind of come to terms with that and now i just watch them just for what they're supposed to be is like that fun ride I agree, especially these sequels. Like, you, I feel like I went into it thinking, oh, they're going to course correct. And I realized, no, they're not. They're just making Marvel movies in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> like, so once you accept that, like, Force Awakens really rubbed me the wrong way because I was so stoked about it because it had been 10 years right. getting a new one. I was like, oh, so cool seeing R2-D2 and I guess Luke Skywalker for 30 seconds and, like, all these characters you know and everything. But then I got to the end of it and I was like, I don't feel like I watched a Star Wars movie. I just, it didn't feel that way to me the originals were all they're all campy like i don't get like everyone i think people have like a false memory like they're not these are they're like kind of fun but they're not you shut up you scruffy looking nerf they're they're campy movies (laughs) they are yeah they are campy but we got a little off the rails here let's let's, well cam i completely agree with you after watching um the force uh, not force awakens what was the last last Jedi. jedi um i realized after watching it that i was like analyzing the entire movie and wasn't even enjoying like, enjoying the movie yeah. anymore. Yeah. I was like, why I guess am I analyzing true. this so much? Why can't I just but enjoy see, the I movie think that's as the what thing, it is for I think that's the thing that now we're able to accept that we weren't able to accept with the prequels because I didn't go into that analyzing a thing. I went into that thinking, hey, I'm just going to have fun exactly. seeing 
lightsaber battles and these things I've never been able to see before. And hey, I don't really care about the consistency. I don't care about the bureaucratic red tape and the trade disputes and all this. And now I'm like, <laughs> show me Darth Maul. <laughs> show me Obi-Wan Kenobi. Show me all these Light things. Scenes. And show that's me all I really right. cared about. And I think that's the problem is, like you said, we have this idea that we need to protect this original series as right. like our franchise. And when it went away from that, we were like, no, you, you took it away from us. Yeah, you were where I didn't go into it thinking that. I just went into it thinking, I'm a kid in 1999. Give me more Star Wars because I don't have the patience to read all the books. So how, <laughs> you how know? betrayed did you feel today when they revealed how Han Solo got <laughs> Wasn't his, even last his name? name. <laughs> okay. Oh my yeah. God. No, we're, let's, we're, we're, let's move. Before we get let's go there. right into it, right there. This is oh, the spoiler no. warning section of it. Let's move right into Solo. I want one to three word uh, of how you felt about it first off. So go Cole. Oh no! Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're like not me first. <laughs> yeah. Make me last. Uh, let's see, uh, three words. One to three words. One to Good, three words. bad, was okay. <laughs> really, really missed that ugly right there. It's gonna be like yeah. four to five words. Better than I thought. Okay, I like that. <laughs> okay, um, I my three words are. Oh man, I can't do three words. I'll do, <laughs> you can do more than three I'll just, words. I'll just like somebody. I'll say yeah. uh. <laughs> Um, gets better after 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I like that. How about you, Kipka? It was funnish. Funnish. <laughs> and then go yeah, for it. That's Chip. a good way to put it. Uh, I wouldn't say it was good, but it was fun. Okay. Better it's than fun. expected, for sure. So, yes. That's what I think, it's a fun I think movie. that they really... So, um, for, uh, Force Awakens Solo made $14.1 million on preview night, Thursday night, wow. which is better than... Last Jedi. It's better than any Star Wars movie has done on preview night wow. up to this point, which is kind of amazing. Yeah. And it's also projected to make, I think, between 130 million to 150 million opening weekend. Now that's Memorial Day included, four day weekend, okay. which is actually would be the number one Memorial Day weekend box office open. Did which they? makes sense because Star Wars in a name, no matter what it is. Yeah. Now, I think what actually benefited them, which is crazy, it's like reverse psychology. This thing had production problems from the beginning oh, we had yeah. mm -hmm. um phil lord and chris miller getting pretty much booted because they couldn't fall in line with the disney executives and then we had ron howard coming in and people hearing about reshoots that were going to be bad the marketing for this didn't even start until i think february and it came out yeah, in yeah, may the marketing was, yeah. like what I noticed. solo so i think what they did is they're really like okay this movie isn't going to live up to people's standards Let's what we're going to do yeah. is we're going to make it sound like it has all this trouble yeah. so people are going to go in thinking man this movie's going to suck and, and then, then when actually, it's just okay, <laughs> it's gonna seem good. That's so. I think that, that was their marketing behind this. Is it, just come have fun. <laughs> like that's it's not a bad idea. Just at come, all. come, give us your money and have fun. Like that's really what it was. Mm -hmm. So I think they did a good job with that because I went into it just thinking, all right, I don't care if this is Low canon. I don't care if this is consistent. Throw me some fun mm -hmm. lines, pander to me as a fan, mm -hmm. and then throw in some cool choreographed fight scenes and space scenes, and we're good to go. I'm yeah. totally yeah. cool well, with that. Yeah. Do you guys think the intro car chase scene was kind of just, it never really got exciting? It was no. just kind of no. It wasn't out. even it, a car it, chase it, it scene, in my opinion. It was just like, a, hey, we're driving around. It was, it was very like, calm driving. It was yeah. zero, yeah. zero <laughs> stakes. <laughs> tried to, I, I was trying to get like the music they was kind of intense, like trying to like trying to boost it up like, one oh, thing no, i no, didn't no, no, no. one thing i didn't like about the music that i noticed is they played it too quiet in almost every scene yeah. like mm. it was always in the background but never forefront enough to get you stoked on anything yeah you didn't get punched in yeah. the face with no. the orchestra exactly like, well, and it, it really gave me that off so i had this problem with I rogue one it feel slow when rogue yeah, one started be. it was like a galaxy far far away and then it went Dum. and yeah. it's just like okay the same thing it was like a bunch of blue letters and it was just like Burm. and you're like Okay, I don't I don't know how to feel about this right now. <laughs> Did anyone else notice on the train the uh, random choir that kind of resembled like yes, Duel of Fates? When they're on top of the <laughs> train and randomly they'd have the boys' choirs going. Oh my oh! god! I wanted, no, I wanted I, to remember I that. that. I totally forgot. I just I, went over my yeah, head. Yeah, I, I, I heard that too, and I was like that was so looking creepy. around. Yeah, I was like, is what? there a boys' choir in here? Because it's really random. <laughs> it was, I was really random. I was just wondering why they actually needed a train because they could just. Fly, fly things places. Yeah, so like that is a why very not, good point. Why not put why it in a, a ship 
and just go. Yeah. yeah. Some there's a lot of plot holes. Train heist. That, that Which, didn't even come to me. You're absolutely right about Which, that. Which one thing? Yeah, they were like Serenity and Firefly had a train. So let's get a train on there. Oh, uh, we're gonna get a train and no... we're gonna make it rotate. Yeah, it goes. Yeah. And like, the stormtroopers are gonna have that girl gravity was boots. So important to blow herself up for that too. I know. Oh, yeah. Made no why? Sense to me. I don't get it. Like what why? What was the point of that? Like let's just you could there's well the bridge you're supposed to be master but you're supposed to be master smugglers you can't think on your feet like come on but come on but if they were going to just uh disconnect they could just lift it up yeah Yeah, they could just lift it up the train would just leave them behind so one thing i had a problem with in this too is because it kind of ruined it for me for chewy because i was like up to this point you know chewbacca is a brutal guy he's from kashyyyk the wookie are brutal people but i thought they had a moral code they're like Oh, we haven't fed him in three days. This is gonna be fun. They, he eats these people. I'm like, so Chewbacca's eating people? <laughs> yeah. Like he's ripped apart, clean bones. That's, that leave people. it up to the imagination. He did Even though there's already, isn't there just a droid down there? No, that was, oh, was the that, was armor of another person. Yeah. Oh, hell. Well, I mean, if you were someone's arms, if you were in a pit for like three I, months yes. and they only oh, yeah, they put they people down. So is this what we call the the Donner Party uh, <laughs> yeah. clause? Yeah. 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 You're allowed yeah. to yeah. eat he people. Casually rip off a man's arms in the elevator with no blood. Yeah. Yeah. No so blood. that kind of that maybe was that like, guy didn't have blood. That's no. true. Really? I don't know. Yeah, maybe we don't know those <laughs> weird people. And yeah. what what is that planet? It's the Kessel Run, but is it Kessel is the planet? Sure. They keep on saying on Kessel. In the okay. Thing, but so I, I guess like it's they Kessel. Say planets very often, like the names of them. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of missed the whole Rogue One thing where it gave you like the little font at the bottom. That's yeah, like that's really this cool. planet. I'm like, thank you. I yeah. know where we're at now. Like, <laughs> where is this jungle cave at the end that Lando's just casually playing Sabacc on? You know, <laughs> like. It, it looked like they were on uh what's that planet that has like those scary like like the the scary guys with like the the, the cut natalie portman shirt into a perfect crop top in the second nice. one in the prequel yeah, those little <laughs> spider deals they have a planet they live on yeah uh oh, they're, they're called accolades is the name, oh, the, the wow. name of the creature did you you, know out, you out yeah. me yeah, yeah they're on Fallujah. Oh, uh, so you think it's that Fallujah? Because of, uh, I don't Battle think the plant, uh, it's Fallujah. The I don't think Fallujah is foresty though. I think it's like the big no, no. flowers and stuff. It is. Fallujah is totally forested. Forest? Yeah. Oh wow. I think so. but I okay. Thought Fallujah was the for, uh, the big flowers and the big. Well, maybe I'm getting it wrong. I thought it was the uh. one where the Twi'lek Jedi died in. It uh, is. It is. Fallujah. Her name's Ayla Sakura. Okay. Wow. All right. And you want to just take over? Yeah. You just keep going with it. Jordan, you've been demoted. My eyes are like glazing over right now. But also, I mean, there could be other like habitats. On that That's planet. true. Cam, you just gave Jordan a boner. I, just, <laughs> I got such a Star Wars boner right now. <laughs> Me too. We're going to have a Nothing lightsaber gave. fight. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Mine's going to be the red one. You like how um, they, they <laughs> Mine's going to be the pink one. Yeah, nice. I think you guys have diseases. <laughs> <laughs> no, doctor. It's Star Wars day. <laughs> so we, uh, Cam and Cole and I discussed this a little bit, but you guys were out of the room. So... I, I, so speaking of the worst theater experience I ever <laughs> oh, had. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're back to this. So I lost all faith in humanity because behind me were a group of like junior high kids. They were like junior high, they were think, young. right? Oh, young. They were young. Talking the whole time. And even after Kipka turned around and told him to be quiet, they just talked more. And it's like, if you want to have a conversation, maybe don't pay $15 to go have a conversation where people are pissed at you. <laughs> go to Starbucks. And then down the, down the, oh, uh, gosh, like the row from me, this guy fell asleep four times and was snoring <laughs> no so way. loud that everyone in the theater pretty much uh. turned to see who it was. <laughs> and then the woman next to me was there with her son and she kept being like, oh, it's Chewbacca. Like, yes, <laughs> your, son, your son can see it. It's on the screen that's 100 feet wide. Like, oh my gosh. So that's all what that, happens when you sit in the back row. I know, sorry. Those kids all, kicked my chair in the yeah, entire movie. And the kids were the kicking my chair in the entire movie. So rants being done, if you just be a decent human, I don't know if I wasn't into the first half of the movie because I was just so angry at that or if it was slow and kind of boring, you know, because about halfway through I got into it. I was like, this is cool. Heist it up. Let's do it. Yeah. People are dying. People are flying around. This is fun. But, yeah, go ahead, Joe. I feel well, like you're going to pop. Yeah, no, it's just I wanted to say I want to give credit to one of them just because at the very end of the movie, he one of the guys, like, tapped my shoulder and he was like, I am so sorry for my friends. Oh, okay. And I was like. Well, that's nice. There's yeah, always one. Okay, dude. Yeah. You're, I know. You're cool There's now. that guy that's just sitting there like, I, I forgive my you. friends right now. <laughs> 
apologize to him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they were the kind of girls that were like throwing the F word everywhere because they thought they were cool, like mm -hmm. cussing and talking about so making they're, they're, out and they're stuff. Like uh, Jordan, that means they they're are. Teenagers. Oh, they are cool. I yeah. Still do that. I, I wanted to date some of them, you know. <laughs> yeah. My high school Jordan was like, come You're on. Getting real creepy now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Can we cut that part? Yeah, we'll cut that part. Yeah. We'll just insert um, a lot of barks. So, yeah, we were talking <laughs> about how the first like half of this movie just was really slow and kind of unnecessary. I mean, it didn't really set anything up that could have been done in exposition. I think they're trying to build build up that he grew up on the streets kind of thing. I guess, but he wasn't even on the streets for yeah. more than ten minutes. No, he was like in a tunnel. Yeah, <laughs> which was, was he was weird. a tunnel, and he yeah. like gave like some. He everyone was collecting jewelry for yeah. a water worm. Like I don't, <laughs> I didn't understand the whole the idea behind that. Worm. Which yeah. Yeah. from the beginning, I did get this vibe of the fifth element. Which was kind of cool. Like, very, very, a little bit. Very yeah. weird creatures. Well, very this, dystopian. I get that with the singing a little bit. Yeah, the, they had the weird singing people <laughs> yeah, with like right. the masks on and he whatnot. Was a, the guy was in like a Futurama glass jar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, was <laughs> head. it was Richard Nixon. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. True. He had a he had a very soulful low voice. Yeah. I liked it. He was he was giving um, his all. And I was actually surprised. As much as I am a Star Wars fan, I probably should know this. I didn't know Paul Bettany was going to be in this movie. I was like. The vision is in this. <laughs> what the heck is going on? That that was a pleasant surprise his, to me. His I, scars are pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that was, that yeah, was cool. really cool. So and his dagger things, whatever those were, they were. Yeah, those were really. Cool. Oh yeah, those were awesome. Oh, of course, of course. I was like, that's so cool. So I think we can all agree that probably the worst part of the movie is just there were a lot of slow parts. There was a lot of unnecessary things. It's trying to just filler. Unless you guys have a different thing you hated about it, let me know right now because we're gonna talk about what we hated about this movie. Well, I think what the worst part of it was at the very beginning was that it was just all exposition. Mm -hmm. Like they needed to set up that like Corellia is a rough planet, yeah, and that being on Corellia sucks, and then you are a scavenger for this jingly worm mm -hmm. who hates you, and yeah. you get beat with sticks. But yeah. then like <laughs> instead of just showing that. The whole time they had like Daenerys Targaryen going like, like, oh man, it's so hard to be here. I'm so happy you're here, Han. Like, this is great. Where have you been? And he's like, I just did this whole thing that we didn't pay to show. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna tell you about it. Yeah. Like, if if it were to come in and he was gonna like step into that tunnel, mm -hmm. he like makes out with the he bends the knee, makes out with the, with the, with the real bends queen. The, yeah. Um, mother of dragons. Yeah, the mother of dragons. <laughs> and then like they. <laughs> fight the space worm, get in the car, and book it, right? Yeah. It would be so much more high energy, and you don't need to tell me all that. All yeah. That you even fight I, the space worm. I feel like, a window. Yeah, I feel like the reason, <laughs> I feel like the reason they put that in there, he got a good arm, there, though. They were, yeah. they were really wanting the Han persona to come out at that point, I think is what they really wanted. They were like, mm -hmm. we want this dude who's very, like, arrogant and all about himself doesn't and kind of like doesn't care and but it just didn't work you because know? none of that was about himself no he was yeah getting he was getting that stuff to save his girl yeah like if it was han and he walks in like shoots and asks questions later like there's my han solo mm -hmm. you know the entire movie he actually does <clears throat> care the, the entire time i think it was building part. up that she's learning that you do whatever it takes to survive well even yeah because uh, she was almost the han Tom solo Martin character of what we know <laughs> oh, yeah i yeah. think yeah. that'd be cool if they make her into a really gnarly enemy well, that's yeah. well it would have been cool before. if they still if that'd like kira showed up in like rebels or something up. well they have time yeah well, you know, that's what you were saying <laughs> before has kira yeah. ever came out before and just well, was never noticed as a character i feel like kira will now be in something they're going to do like well no yeah if, now it won't be rebels because isn't that done anything? and uh maybe uh darth maul darth maul's gonna stick well, some thorns if there's in a darth maul Join standalone us. i'm gonna lose my that mind. would that would be awesome would i would be love that which yeah. okay so let's talk let's talk about <laughs> yeah. some easter eggs real quick here so the first one that the well there's probably a bunch and there's a million <laughs> there's yeah. a million and the one that i loved is the one that they threw in our face in the last jedi with the dice i'm the like dice. look if you're a real star wars fan like in depth you would know those dice were in a new hope and that's about it yeah and you would be like that's funny but they didn't want 99 percent of the movie theater to be like what the heck are the dice like why are these such an important right. so like in so they did it in uh last jedi instead where people are like what are these dice because even then <laughs> most people are like i don't understand what these dice are supposed to represent the dice that he put on the little the, they kept on passing around to each other. Yes, yeah. those in A New Hope, those were kind of like a joke on the Millennium Falcon hung there, kind of like the big fuzzy dice you would have in the yeah. 70s. Yeah. And then they took them away for Empire because they're like, whatever, the joke's yeah. done. That's just dangerous to have those in there. Yeah, yeah. right? They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not flopping like, around, around could hit you in the face. They had a structure head. vision. The, the sky police came up and were like, excuse me, move those out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. Warwick Davis showing up, oh, and like taking cool. the mask off. I was like, yes, amazing. yes, yeah. I love it. Wicket's here. I love it. Um, that was amazing. Um, and then the Darth Maul thing. 
didn't have an inkling about it. No. And I was I was waiting for it to be like the emperor or someone because I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, hooded yeah. individual right. that we don't know who it is. And then Maul shows up and I'm like, yeah. yes. And then mechanic Maul. I'm like, yeah. yes. <laughs> like, that's so yeah. awesome. Which I'm a little disappointed he didn't have the spider legs oh. from Clone Wars. But yeah, uh, still, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, like, maybe that, that was like Darth Maul like 2.0. He originally yeah. got spider legs. Yeah, and exactly. then he was like, you know what? It's a little later. It's a, it's a little, little excessive. It <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, this is more like efficient. Um, so, <laughs> But yeah, I thought those were great. What are some other Easter eggs I'm missing? Because I feel like there were a bunch. Oh, Han shot first. Oh, yeah. He didn't let. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, yeah. he didn't let sure. uh, Tobias, or what's his name? <laughs> Tobias Funke. You know, yeah, he, I know. He doesn't ever no. know. Like, yeah, Tobias Funke, Arrested Development up here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I thought that was cool that he shot first. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm missing some. There was uh, the Mandalorian armor in that fight scene. Which fight scene? Because uh, I missed it, obviously. Uh, the one, the end. <laughs> oh, you mean yeah. they had Mandalorian, like the group? It No, it was just. It was just kind of like on display. You oh, know, oh, in, oh, like in, in, room. Case. in that room. In yeah. the room. What's yeah. his name? Nice. Aiden. Mandalorian Arden. 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 That's Arden a good. Or something. That's yeah. a good catch. That's cool. I, right. I, kept, I, kept, like, I noticed like, there was. <laughs> I noticed there was a lot of stuff in the background, but I'm yeah. like, whatever. It's background. Like, I guess I should have been like, it probably is something. But um, yeah. yeah, that was cool. I feel like. I mean, they kept on talking about how he's gonna go to see what's his name, the giant blub dude. Oh, oh Java. Java! Yeah, they kept talking about him without actually talking. Giant blob. The blob. How do you not know <laughs> Java? Kunta, Kunta, be nipple, pinchy. Now do your best. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whoa. Java dying impression. Oh, Jonathan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the audio listeners are like, "What the hell?" <laughs> unsubscribe. Um, unsubscribe. Never listen to that again. Um, the one thing I did like too is the subtle nod to why Lando always pronounces Han's name wrong in the that original. Was fun. Oh, yeah, I was like. This is good. Th- there's actual reason why he calls right. him Han. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, like he's, he's like it's Han, it's Han, but like whatever. Whatever, we'll let it go. I thought <laughs> yeah. that was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought that was all good. So, so my favorite part of the movie was definitely the creature design. I think that's something that they've really kind of missed the mark on in most of the movies up to this point and the new stuff. It was just so weird and yeah. different, and that's how the Tatooine Cantina scene was. Like mm-hmm. the the old stuff had this really weird vibe to it, and this one had a very like. There's a space octopus. There's yeah. the weird worm. There's like a lot of random scary tooth drool dogs that yeah, like are exactly. all only yeah, neck yeah like a big shoulders. yeah like yeah. what is this like I love that that's probably my there favorite that part. Many of them though. Maybe we talked about there was a good there were so many aliens. Yeah, I, I, so I many. They didn't really focus. It was like oh, we had that just, cool like two headed one that was like playing that was gambling oh, with yes. them and like the weird eyeball guy. Like, oh, yeah, the eye guy was cool. Let's uh, so the high guy. Yeah, that was. I feel like we've seen his species before. But not that many eyes. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah. it looks like a lot he's, more eyes than well I'm used to. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Joe, what was what was your favorite part of the movie? Like, not maybe not just a scene, but like mine was the whole creature aspect of it. What would yours be? Oh, okay. Which you can fall in line with me if you want, because let's be honest, I'm right about most things. <laughs> I mean, I, bold <laughs> statement. <laughs> That's a bold statement. Call me um, out. Um, I I I did like the creatures. I think Daenerys Targaryen is great on the eyes. So. <laughs> She distracts she's, me quite a she's bit. She's Kira, right? I don't yeah, watch yeah, Game of Thrones, yeah. so oh, I'm just yeah. I'm I'm Jordan, connecting Jordan, the dots Jordan. here. He doesn't like fantasy. I don't the whole I, fantasy. Lord thing. of the Rings is as much as I get in the fantasy. Do you like when whenever she did a fight scene, they would just like cut away and be like, "Oh well, that was a crazy move." <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> she's like because they couldn't find a body double that small yeah. <laughs> to do it. Yeah, um, the robot was like, "Oh my god, I haven't seen that before." <laughs> uh, my, actually, my favorite part is the. It's kind of the whole building of the relationship between Han and Chewbacca. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. What, what about when they held hands and went into hyperspace? Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah they did it together. I'm like, wow. Punch it. It's so Sex- intimate right now. <laughs> I know it's like supposed to be like, oh, He's got big yeah. they did it. But I was just like, there's no way that would happen. No. <laughs> I think my favorite my favorite line in the whole thing was when L3 was talking about having sexual intercourse with Lando. And she's like, oh, oh it'll work. Oh, it'll <laughs> work. <laughs> L3 was funny. I'm like, what? Well, at that, at that point, everybody in the theater thought about fucking <laughs> droids. Yeah, seriously. That, true. that became, so true. people were just scribbling down their Star yeah, Wars like, erotica fiction. Like, like, like yeah, oh, man. I like the, this. The new sex toys. <laughs> That's droids. so funny. What do you? What about you, Kipko? What is your, uh, what was your favorite part of the movie? I don't know. I, it was all, I, I didn't, I, I thought it was all pretty fun, averagely, at mm-hmm. least. I mean, there was You didn't have one league. part that stood out? I don't know, right? The Kessel Run and... 12 parsecs if you round down. I still down. don't really you understand that. <laughs> that was, it was pretty You don't understand that? Me. Parsecs is a measure of distance. No, I know that, but... So there's I, a lane. I just don't see how it's... Yeah, but he didn't really do it. He 
he, cut through all the clouds. Yeah, yeah, but that's dangerous. No one's. They said no one's been able to do it before. There's planets and and spaceships in there and just smashed apart. Monsters. And a giant, and and a giant well. squid monster and a gravity well and, and a, a lot of well. every every space themed word they could say is in that <laughs> so It is so true. I did like I like the end that the, the classic heist like. Uh, kept, uh, they kept on, you know, doing the double cross or the yeah. Thing. It yeah. was slide cool slide trying to hand. keep kind of gonna keep up because it was so predictable All that Tobias is. was going to show up and be oh, the one who double crossed. Yeah. Like I'm like, why are we even dragging this out? Come on, yeah. we know this. Like I called it from day one when they casted Woody Harrelson. I'm like, he's going to turn on them at some yeah, point in the movie. Even when he turned, it's like, well, did, is that what they were talking about on the beach? Is that plan too? Like when he came, yeah, back, it was that's obvious true. That you it start thinking be, like, where does the plan? When the end? door opened, it was obvious it was going to be him. Yeah, but when it when he came out, it wasn't. I wasn't. Because then you're like, oh, sure. these are the real, whatever they are, yeah. uh, nos pot pods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what are they? Vin, uh, pods. Vin Diesel walked yeah. out. Yeah. Like, family. Yeah. family, 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 family guys. <laughs> We're all family. Is, uh, I love it. I love is it. every new Star Wars movie gonna have some sense of betrayal, just like Benicio del Toro? And... It's the theme of Star Wars, isn't I it? I guess so. No. Just as long as I never have to hear the like. Uh, thing ever again i'll be okay no. that was weird all right cam what was your favorite part uh anything with donald glover in it. yeah like okay yeah he was yeah. great he was I, so he was suave really he was How making me like weak at the voice, knees though? did you think it was forced sometimes uh, a couple times i heard it and i was like okay he's trying to be he's, he's trying. trying to be billy yeah. d williams but then at the same time i was like you know what it, he's doing a he's damn doing good the, well, it, the first so line he said sounded like billy d williams yeah, yeah. like with before well, you saw him i was like holy crap that's i feel like it was more like the middle when it started like when he had all these scenes where he just kind of kept on talking and like that when he was in action he had like yell and stuff like that he kind of right. was more realistic mm -hmm. i would watch 600 hours of Whoa. of uh lando what you doing his like video <laughs> oh yeah oh my god I would watch <laughs> that's that funny so much i and, agree and well then, let's all tweet at donald glover to get that going that's please. gonna yeah. be on the, that's yeah. gotta be on the dvd Incredible. extras right can we get a netflix series with this guy <laughs> yeah. i would Incredible. watch it the Cal yeah. calrissian chronicles uh, did you guys also see that it was <laughs> announced that. that uh lando calrissian is pansexual so he will bang I did see anybody that. Mm -hmm. any race and any yep. gender yep I and I was just like, I, I was like, me too. <laughs> me Donald too. Glover. I like that. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, even at the end, they threw that little thing in there. Like, you ever had like a, what did he say? Something about a, a inner species something or, or like he was talking to aliens about going and banging. Like, right. <laughs> it was great. Um, what about you, Cole? What was your favorite? Pretty much any like action scene. It was just, it was put together so well. Yeah, it, like, was. it was. It's true. It just flowed so well. It, yeah, they did a good job with the choreography in this. Everything but Corellia. I didn't. That's the one exception yeah, I had. It was too dark and like with someone just randomly holding a light flashing all the time, like a purple light. Like I felt like you know, there was oh, too. Yeah. It was yeah. just weird. It was like I'm, Blade Runner ish. I was like, ah, it hurt my eyes. I'm it, actually glad you said that because I was thinking that in the theater. I was like, why are these scenes so dark? It's hard to see detail. Yeah, it was. It was very hard to keep all track the of the Corellia blue. scene. All yeah, that, that blue scene. So much yeah. blue. A lot of blue tint. I was Come gonna on. complain that there wasn't like enough kind of like hand to hand fighting because they mm -hmm. kind of put, did it at the end. But there was like then it, I realized it's more of a, a heist caper yeah. western kind of thing. Yeah, it felt it's, like a western. Western kind of, yeah. yeah. Almost. It's not if it's like a western, that's what the yeah. first one is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Space, yeah. Uh, Space western with uh, the hidden fortress, right? right? Based off of that. Yeah. And also, what I love too is when they were on the beach and they kind of had their standoff with whatever I can't remember the name of the group of like rebels that are starting up. Uh, oh, the, what's that? was that ISIS. like the start? Of ISIS. The rebellion? Yeah. Very close. To ISIS. So, so <laughs> them and then the other guys. I was like, oh, this is totally like the standoff at noon kind of scene right. where it's like this beach ain't big enough for the two of us. <clears throat> Um, was that supposed to be the start of the rebellion? Yeah, well, kind of. Like yeah, they're yeah. funding People it. They're, are starting they're, it up. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of getting it ready. And then I guess those all the five syndicates are kind of under the empire's rules. What they're going, which I'm assuming right. No, right. one of the they're, syndicates they're doing... is the Blue Sun. Wait, what's the one that uh, from Shadows of the Empire? Oh, dude, I think it's the blue blue is it something. Blue something. Well, the syndicates. I may are be like... getting it mixed up with no, Firefly. Yeah. <laughs> give me a give me a minute. <laughs> I think the syndicates were like crime lords. Yeah. That they know they know who's in like running things, so Not they try to remember. stay familiar with them and be nice. But they're still trying to get their money. Oh yeah, totally. But I mean, like I think they were kind of the em under the Empire's rule because obviously she's talking to Darth Maul, who at this point well, we assume just, well, is dead. Well, well, that's, that's where that's where he, I kind of no. come into it because I'm like, 
what does he play this role? Because at this point, he's no longer under Palpatine's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There, well, we there's know. their own. Well, yes, there's yes. There's a lot of characters that are but... introduced that supposedly Super. have a lot of power that we've never heard of before. So where does this movie actually fall in the timeline? Well, it obviously, is after Phantom Menace. Well, no, it's obviously after. Um, it feels like uh, it's Revenge of the Sith because well, the Empire is, is it, already. Is it after the Revenge of the Sith? We don't know how established. Well, you're no, right. They are. The there are storm established. Troopers. That's true. Troopers. That's true. So it's before Rogue One. Well, it's yes. got to be re- before Rogue One. Oh, totally, because they mentioned Scarif and everything. Right, and, yeah. Um, so sometime in between Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One. Which... But where that fits, even if you I know. count Rebels and... Yeah. By now, I'm sure there's multiple Reddits on there that give us the exact answer <laughs> yeah. to this. So uh, if you actually wonder, go look that up. Yeah, why are you listening? Just, just, yeah, yeah, just go read a Reddit. Like, what are you doing listening tweet to us talk at, about uh, this? Tweet Wreck My Podcast about where you think this yeah. winds up. So the, how did you guys timeline. feel about... Uh, so Star Wars is known for having a cast of people that are relatively unknown. Um, right. This one had a, a lot of big names. Studded. Yeah, it, it had uh, Woody Harrelson. It had Donald Glover. Um, Daenerys Targaryen. It, yeah, it had whatever Amelia her Clark. real name is. Amelia, Amelia Clark. Clark. Yeah. Amelia Clark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I know nothing about Game of Thrones Misa. here. I guess I should know because of Terminator. I saw that, but yeah. Um, Breaker yeah, of Chains. It, it had a bunch of big names. Paul Bettany was in it. Like these right. big names. How did you feel about that? Because. I feel like sometimes that can get you out of it then. I thought it was great to see like familiar faces personally. Okay. But I mean, that's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. Woody Harrelson was Woody Harrelson the whole time. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't yeah, his he... character. I honestly forgot his name except for Tobias. What's his last name? Uh, Tobias Beckett. Beckett. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, that's how he yeah. is in Beckett. everything though. Yeah. Oh, like, man, it's no. the same Zombieland. character. Him, well, yeah. Give him I his Twinkies, that. dude. Yeah, like, Zombieland was great. I love that character. Right, he yeah. does a good job in that. Coming out. But, like, he yep. might as well have been the character he played in, like, the Hunger Games series. True. Yeah. I thought it was a little a bit little of, less he was a He was a red herring character in general that you kind of thought he he was the one going to be the one that t- he teaches, I can't even talk right now, <laughs> Han Solo, <laughs> like, how to be yeah, Han Solo. Yeah, kicking it. Yeah, he's... he's but then he just blasts him in the chest, and he's like, Yeah, he is Han Yoda. No, he's not, but he... Han does already, already knows how to do his thing. He shoots him in the chest. Well, let's be honest here. So Luke Skywalker Obi-Wan. did kill Yoda with stress. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> Yoda was like, don't go to Bespin, oh. and he did. And then when he came back, he's like, you killed me. I'm <laughs> having a heart attack right now. Speaking I'm going to slowly whiffed, whiffed, whiffed whiffed away whiffed. into whiffed. I want to say a fun story about my wife here. So when she watched, <laughs> when, when she watched Empire Strikes Back, and uh, we were she watching She being it, your wife? My wife. She watched Empire Strikes Back with me like years ago. When we first started dating, and like Yoda's being like, there is another, and like being all dramatic. She's like, what? He's just falling asleep. I'm like, no, he's dying. <laughs> he's gonna die. He's old. She's taking a nap. She's like, oh, I thought he just fell asleep. I'm like, no, he's yeah. dead. Yeah, when he falls asleep, he disappears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he comes back when he wakes up. It's great camouflage. Speaking of which, I had no idea Chewbacca was so old. I knew that. I, I, yeah. I knew they, that. I mean, they kind of. I don't know if in the movies they ever really established that. Like, I know that, Chewbacca is actually stuff. in Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Yoda well, yeah, says, because Yoda's there. Yeah, yeah and talks says to him. And then Chewbacca. granted, he's in the whole I mean, like, original trilogy. Wookiees but. have exceptional lifespans, mm-hmm. so I think that's something you For should For anyone yeah, that I, doesn't I believe it, go yeah. watch the holiday special. I, I, <laughs> they <laughs> also love weird virtual reality porn dances. They do. I didn't right. know the, the whole Wookiee back crazy, schedule. They had some crazy faces. Did you see No, them? yeah, the one that yeah, he like yeah. went and like, I was like, that is cool. That is cool. I want to know about that I think they just forgot to make a mask for him. Yeah, it, was, no. like, it was a Wookiee with alopecia. I, I don't know. I'm going to take this mask. Yeah. What, what, what I thought of when I yeah. saw it. He didn't have, he didn't have hair on his face. Yeah. What, what, I saw, what, I, what I thought of when I saw it was they just called up whoever was the prop designer for Planet of the Apes. Exactly. Said, hey, That's what can I was we just about borrow a mask over here real that quick? Funny. We kind of need something. We're in a we pinch. Just put a bunch of hair yeah. on the Do you have that orangutan mask? Yeah, we're going to use that. That's yeah. great. Uh, um, so that's, yeah. I, I feel, for me, I was scared that the, the cast was going to ruin it, but I was pleasantly surprised that... That's right, that was the topic. They didn't, yeah, that, right, we kind of <laughs> got off on a weird tangent there, but I was kind of pleasantly surprised that I was like, nope, didn't take me out of it at all. Like, I really, yeah. I, they it all worked out really well. So, last thing I think we should talk about here, and then you guys can chime in with any extra stuff you have, or we can just call it wraps for the day. Your grievances of the movie. Well, yeah, if you want to do that, we'll do a... Uh, what is the Seinfeld thing? Uh, the best the, uh, of us for the rest of us. <laughs> we'll do best of us at the end. The airing of the grievance. The, grievance the last the thing. End. The last thing we'll talk about, which now I lost my train of thought. Oh, Aaron Aldenreich. That's his name, right? Sure. Alden Aaron Reich. Alden Aaron. Alden. It's Hansel. How do you feel? Oh. 
he did portraying Ooh. Han Solo. I thought about this earlier. Go Four ahead. out of ten. Four out of ten. Okay, so not so good. No. But, like, our expectations are so high. Yeah. Who's right. actually going to get anything more than that? It's true. Chris Pratt. No. I don't know. If it was Chris so. Pratt, I I was, yeah. it, that would have taken me out of it, honestly. I think, yeah. It would have really taken me out of it. They, I think this was supposed to be more kid-friendly, and he's, like, a safe safe guy, nice guy. I can he's see like a, a safe, hunky a dude. Safe well, I can see Chris Pratt for, like, if they were going to redo... Uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Yes. I can't see him as Han. Yeah. See, That's I basically I can't... what Guardians of the Galaxy is. Exa- exactly. Indiana Jones in <laughs> <He> space. <laughs> 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 or he is Han Solo. He, he practically is Han Solo, is Han Solo in yeah. the Marvel. That's I mean, true. if only somebody here worked for Marvel and worked on Guardians 2. <laughs> did, is there someone here who did that? Yes. <laughs> what did you do for Guardians 2? Uh, special effects. Special effects. Hey, shout it out, man. I'm yeah. like, we're going to tag you in everything so people will be interested in this episode. <laughs> Anyone have special we, effects questions? We, yeah. Special, uh, Guardians don't, of the don't ask me. Two. Yeah, just h- hit him up at Coltrane <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter. He was actually Chris Pratt's body double. Oh. <laughs> As you can tell. Yeah. Really worked o- hard. Only for the nude it. scenes, though. I love it. I'm yeah, Jabba yeah, the Hutt's scenes. body double. <laughs> and I, I was Princess Leia's. What? what? I, I knew it. I Connection. Knew it. Um, you thought it was actually Princess Leia in the slave suit? No, it was actually no, Jordan. Oh, yeah. That was all me. <laughs> oh, I would let that Jordan was strangle me with a chain any day. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't and let my wife know that. <laughs> Jordan is the one who likes to be strangled. Uh, or let her know. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, this is whoa. getting weird. Um, so what did you guys think of Alden Alden Ehrenreich? Man, his name's really hard to say. It yeah. is hard to say. That it, hard that, to say. that goes into the Call 4 10 score. <laughs> Old Al. Old, old Al. Al. <laughs> there you go. How about Old Al? What would you guys think? He's an old soul, I think. I would give him a 5 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I wasn't too impressed with his Han. I mean, granted, you're right. The expectation for a Han Solo is very high. Mm-hmm. Um, it just didn't really <laughs> feel like Han. Here's no. my question. Would you rather have Alden Ehrenreich or... CGI hologram Her- young Harrison Ford in a movie. If it's done as well as what's the one guy from Rogue One who's Tarkin? I mean, he still had the weird dead eyes. How much? Still, though. How much pot do they give me at the box? Uh, okay, office? so yeah, that's a whole other level. Uh, I'm giving them. They nine give out you ten. one nine pot unit. They give me one, one unit of one pot? unit one, of pot. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't either. But I'll still take Aaron Wright. <laughs> one girth unit. I think he was, I think it was good. I don't know. I, like I want pot. I'll tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a little I short. might take the one pot unit. <laughs> I want old Harrison Ford to play young Harrison Ford. Yeah, <laughs> to, no, old Harrison Ford to play young. Yeah. Old use, Harrison Ford as yeah, young. Harrison use Ford. him and then use the CGI to make him young. So a Tron Legacy thing we got going yeah, on because that worked out so well. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason it worked is because he's supposed to be a duplicate in the grid for it. Well, they've done it um, that in a lot of movies now. That's true. They have done. So here's the thing. The first trailer I saw, I went, this is going to be nothing like Han Solo. (laughs) So I just got it out of my mind right then. And I was like, you know what? Not even going to compare. So I was okay with it because I was just like, whatever. How can you not compare when the name of the movie is Solo? Because here's the thing. That's not even the name. I know. The name of the movie is a fake name. That was literally Ellis Island. So what's your name? (laughs) Okay, this is your name now. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Solo isn't even his name. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, no. I'm like, you have a last name, sir. If it's something weird... Just say it. Well, and obviously he loved it. Well, yeah, because no, I'm Han Solo. Is, yeah. The thing is, he's is, like, this guy's a genius. He didn't, even, he didn't even ask for his name. He said, who are your people? I have no people. Well, okay, that's what you're last Solo. Names, well, that's what last names originate from. Right. Oh, yeah. You're like, who are your people? Kubanises. Yeah. <laughs> Kubanises? <so, laughs> at Ellis Island, they were the Kubanises. Now they're the Kubas. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I feel like I was okay with it because I just kind of wrote that off from the very beginning. I was like, yeah, this is going to be n- nothing. I... If I compare, I'm going to hate it. it but fun. I agree I, with you. Good. It's He didn't do a good job of being Han, but who can? He, yeah. You know, it's... He, he, did pretty, he didn't do horrible. He did a pretty good job. Yeah. I think that falls into mostly with the directing snafu, mm-hmm. right? Like, if you have a director like Phil Lord there who's great, but also, like, gets fired, and then you mm-hmm. bring in Ron Howard, they're going to have a completely different vision of who yeah. Han Solo is. And there's also all that thing about um, an acting coach that had to come in and help L- R- uh, Alden... Aaron, right? Old Alden. Al. Hooked I on just call him old Al. Yeah, Old Al. <laughs> had to help Old Al get the coaching down to get the Han feel, which I'm like, right. that's bad when you're halfway through your movie and you're like, we need a coaching, uh, like an actor. I feel like in there here. was yeah. a change where he it's, was kind of weak and then he got better too. At, yeah. It's too yeah. bad Harry Ford has such a bad, like, uh, drug problem. 
<laughs> perception of Star Wars. Oh, oh okay. Um, okay. That it would have been awesome if he was able to kind of like add more. It of could his have been like the uh, young it. Indiana Jones series where they have old Indy kind of introducing it at the beginning. Yeah, and it's like just keep when I was a kid. <laughs> here's some of the shenanigans I got into. Like, <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been awesome. And he would have been dead in a pit on uh on whatever. Not Skywalker, no on Star Killer. Yeah, that's right. right. So you watched Force Awakens with me, the Star Killer base for no, Han Solo. Old, old Harrison Ford is old Han, but he's dead at the bottom of uh, Star Killer base. I don't know. I love um, yep. Okay. It's too soon. The name Get Star too Killer soon. Base sorry, too. sorry. So, are there any final grievances or <laughs> possibly accommodations or fun oh, things that accolades. you guys accolades? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Accolades you guys have about it. the movie. Don't, don't start with me. Not Cole. Oh, start with him. <laughs> We're going to start with Kipka. <laughs> no. Nope. Kipka's a pass. What about you, Cam? Uh, I'm just going to say that uh, Cole and I, before we leave here, we're going to shift into reverse while holding hands on the knob in the Subaru. I like <laughs> it. Which happens a lot. You'd be surprised. That, that is good. I think good. they might have stole it from It's us. really the only way have. to do it. Yeah, <laughs> they stole it from me. <laughs> Obviously. I'm what about sure. you, Joe? Did anyone see Darth Maul coming? I was didn't. I the only no, one I who was did. like completely shocked? Which, I was like, holy crap, it's My Darth question Maul. was, did so they get pumped. Ray Park to voice it and they just kept it under wraps or is it someone just random like, uh, what's his face from Rebels and no, Clone it, Wars? It sounded like Ray Park. Like, yeah. it, 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 it sounded like him 100% to me. Um, also, so fucking dope to see the double-edged lightsaber again. Yes! yes. Seriously, I was like, thank that you. was great. Thank you. But what did he like? It was so unnecessary, it. but it was, it was un great. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, <laughs> He's just like sitting around. I'm so bored. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got to like ignite this thing. Around. That's that's honestly my favorite part of the movie. That's the only reason why I'm looking forward to other adaptions of this story is just to see where they go with Darth Maul right. being reintroduced into this. Well, remind me universe. this too. Aura Singh, who is she? Because they mentioned her by name, and I was like, I recognize that name. I don't remember what she did, but I recognize because they said you killed Aura Singh, or like this person killed Aura Singh. Hang on. I don't even remember that. Anyone I want to know what uh, Dark this is, Secrets this is the uh, first, Daenerys Targaryen is holding. This is the first time I have what? my phone Because she on says, set. Uh, I've done bad things. Here we go. Well, they've talked about how they they killed that village, or they ripped out the tongues <clears throat> of a village and stuff like that. that was, no, I know, but I want to know what gnarly. she did specifically. Yeah. I thought one of the people taking their like masks off was gonna have like no tongue. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I was getting ready for a cringe oh, yeah. moment. Yeah. How is there no yeah. reveal of that, people without tongues? That right? would have been so good. I was How waiting you leave for me hanging it. like that. Yeah, that's All too you much gotta CGI. do is like, you just gotta wrap some like <laughs> so, green gaff tape around the tongue. We're like, low on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of green tape, guys. So Aura Singh is a female near human bounty hunter who operate operated prior to and during the Clone Wars. She was present on Tatooine where she watched the Boon to Eve classic pod race. She's this one. You see her. Remember, she has like the really um, oh, dude, white Yeah, she's that. dope. Yeah. You want to show so, the camera? I, well, I'm going to put it on the video. Right? <laughs> yeah, just cut it Right over. here. Super that's Aura Singh. Superpose it over me yeah. while I do this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's Aura Singh Wait. right there. They um, <laughs> they've mentioned Tatooine a few times. That's where Jabba is? So no. she's also, yes, yeah. during yeah. this time, Jabba's she was acquainted with Weequay pirate captain Hondo Onaka. So he was, she was part of Hondo's deal in Clone Wars. Um, right. Yeah. And she, uh, after the outbreak of the Clone Wars and the death of fellow bounty hunter Jango Fett, Singh trained Fett's son Boba. That's where I know her from. She's the one in the Clone Wars episodes who was training Boba Fett. Yes. That, that's it. That's where the name. Okay. So okay. who, and now I don't remember, who who said they killed Aura Singh? Someone was like, this person killed Aura Singh. I think Singh. it was Amelia Clark. No, was it? no, 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 uh, Beckett. No, oh, oh, Beckett oh, was supposed oh, to be. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, oh, that's what Donald Glover came up into him at the bar and said that. Right. That's Donald Glover this so good in this like, movie. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Donald Glover was the best. Thanks for killing her because yeah. she was not happy know, with Amelia me. Amelia <laughs> Clark is pretty nice on the eyes. So that's, so God, final thoughts down, Donald Glover. Amelia Clark. Donald Glover is incredible. Donald Glover is great. He's nice on the eyes This is, this is, this is, this is his year. Calm like, down. This is America getting, getting, getting oh, this role. Did, like, did you like that this is America where the robot, he, he, the robot was like, we need equal rights. And he's like, okay. <laughs> I, that was, yeah, that was kind of weird. Okay, so that's the last thing we'll stop on. How'd you feel about L3? I thought she was. Who voiced her? That I, that's so what I was wondering familiar. too. I was like, yeah, I'm looking it up. It, it almost sounded like the tall lady. Phone. From Game of Thrones, but she's already in there. She's already Captain oh, Phasma. She sounded yeah. 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 Like of her she kind she of sounded, sounded like her. her. Yeah. Um, let's see. Solo, a Star Wars movie. No. Oh, it's official just title. Google stuff. Um, let's see here. L3. Her real name is L337 by Phoebe Waller Bridge, which is the weirdest looking chick. Oh, Does she look she like an L3? 
I don't know. She I don't looks like her. L3. Honestly, she kind of does. I don't recognize her. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have a crush on her in high school. Ah, uh, maybe. She's she's also been in. Um, let's see what else she's been in. Um, Fleabag. She played the titular character Fleabag. Um, <laughs> and no, it's a TV series. Uh. Um, uh, Broadchurch. She was in eight episodes of Broadchurch. These are none of them. I don't know, I don't know any of these things. I'm just. That's a BBC sound, show, I'm just I sounding think. off. Yeah, she's in a lot of B- British shows. Well, like she had a British accent. British. She That's did right. have a. Well, that British makes sense. Yeah, literally, Broadchurch is the only name that I even recognize. Did you guys like the liberation of the droids? Hell yeah! I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was cool. cool. Yeah. That, that was. I like. They were trying to bring it back to being fun again. Yeah. yeah. I tell all the other stores they've done the little droids, right? Yeah. Everyone likes the little droids. I feel like they're trying to bring back the droid. Oh, when that little droid was like stomping. Oh my god! They were just having a party in there. It was like Animal House for droids. It was great. It was. I loved it. I feel like this is the first one without a little creature, right? The first Star Wars movie recently. No, they had the little creature at the beginning who died. Uh, it was like part of Tobias's team. I forget his name. Oh he, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. A little, little creature. That's yeah, like a little guy. Like a, well, a he was little. Talk there's no. There's not there's yeah. like a cute little. You have like not all movies like how Flash Jedi has Porgs. Yeah. And then like BB-8 was kind of yeah, the one. Everyone has Wiggins. every movie. Return of the walks. Jedi has Salacious B. Crumb. Yeah, that's <laughs> all they have. This one didn't have their little cute character tree. Was anyone else disappointed to not see Greedo? So disappointed. I was yeah. very disappointed. I it was expecting cool. him somewhere. It would have been as cool. A cameo, it would have been but... cool if they did like a post credit scene where he's finally on Tatooine and they just bump into each other at yeah, a bar. Yeah, they just like look at each other. Like, like, uh, like, uh, <laughs> like, right. That would have been awesome. I mean, we got a different Rodian. Like we got an yeah. orange Rodian that That's was true. like in that rebel group. But mm-hmm. like at the same time, like uh, I want Greedo. Yeah, I, I want to hear like a which Ooh, has it ever been has it ever been established before that Rodians are any other color but green? No, we got our first orange. Which I'm like, is he just an L? Bino, or like, <laughs> or is, do they actually have different colors? Because I've only seen green Rodians at this point. It's just the uh, the Kirby the and the Yoshi of the yeah, universe. They're just I don't different know. colors. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, pink. Yeah, I enjoyed the L three thing. I thought I feel like they've done a good job in the sequels of bring, or I guess the anthology episodes only to bring cool robots like K two S O. I love Alan Tudyk. Yeah, K two S O is cool. Alan Tudyk is one of my favorite guys on the planet. Like I wish I was friends with him. So K two S O is awesome, and L three I thought was great. Mm-hmm. I love how they bring these droids. Like it kind of started with Anthony Daniels, how he was like a, dro- a protocol droid who didn't really want to follow protocol. Right. And then they just blossomed it into this thing, like a female rights activist <laughs> droid. Like no, seriously, like, yeah, people yeah, are it's, a it's droid not rights female activist. Yeah, rights, yeah, it's yeah. droid rights. Right. But, but I'm just, like, it's it, incredible because it's so timely. Yeah. To yeah. Also, I mean, the thing is that what what West I, world. What drives me a little <laughs> <laughs> one word. <laughs> Drop it in there. Um, as as I don't know, as like a feminist ally. Like oh, no, I'm, I'm so sitting there and I'm today. seeing that, and then I'm seeing this like a droid just get shit on by the dudes in the movie. Yeah. I was like, oh come on, listen to the droid. Yeah. But then the droid is like, one the droid has fucking like sexual freedom. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I want to bang Lando, kinda. And how dare and you then- assume <laughs> that droid's gender just because it has a girl's voice. Well, uh, I mean, I guess that's true. Yeah, but that's Lando's I mean, pansexual, it, so I mean, it works right, anyway. It, it goes. It doesn't matter. It depends. On, it depends on the way that the droid is programmed. I'm <laughs> still yeah. trying to wrap my because brain around how to have sex with a droid. Well, they it have, has sex they, with you. Uh, I can find it online. <laughs> I'll tell you, that way. I'll t- <laughs> what is it? Is this Russia? <laughs> I'll tell you this: droids are usually lubricated already. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'll stop there. Um, so, uh, yeah, you're I, gonna get butt fucked, <laughs> Joe. And that's a bark right there. <laughs> They're, 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 have you seen like R two like shoot his all his probes out? Like that's <laughs> all that all this probing yeah. these robots have been doing. <laughs> this podcast is taking such a turn. It's taking a really weird turn. <laughs> I fault. do have a question I, for everyone. Yeah, what's your question? Where does this movie fall in May. terms of like um top your fa- favorite top one? Favorite Star Wars Best movies? Star Wars movie. Ooh. Like if you it think lands. like Empire is your favorite, or if you think well, here's Return a, of the Jedi. Here's is your my favorite. problem. Where does Solo land. Here's my problem. I need to watch it one more time in a good. Environment, environment. So like in like your living room, in like three or four weeks, I'm gonna go see it again once it dies down, and then I'll let you know. But right now, it lands right in the middle. Not the I was worst. Not about the best. That when I was watching it, I th- I was thinking I might enjoy it actually more at home on my own TV. I don't know. I was thinking that too, just because then you the could be checking Facebook during so the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah. Well, it didn't really was... have any big loud scenes like we we're saying with the orchestra. Didn't because kind of absent, so you don't really right. need this sp- giant speakers to get you. Into That's it. true. And it was so dark in the beginning and some other scenes, I feel like it would kind of work better really in your You can own brighten heart. it up the a little bit. The blue tin was something else. But you're absolutely right. I did think that as well. Um, it falls right in the middle for me. But it was only just because, like Jordan said, the theater experience was so bad. I was yeah. like, man, this... 
I would much rather those see kids make me never want to have children. That's why you don't sit in the back of movie theaters. <laughs> Only creeps sit Sorry. sit back there. I'm with Anyways. Jordan too. I mean, it's middle. right in the middle. Mm-hmm. It's it's fun, but that's it. Like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't hit me. It doesn't. F- the story arc was fine. I'm curious. What is your number one Star Wars movie? Empire. That's most people's. Yeah. Yeah. That's my number two. This is my. What's your number one? one? If you say Jedi. <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna have a Jedi. whole other conversation. No, it's not. It's Revenge of the Sith. Actually, Jedi is my number three. I love Revenge I, of the Sith. Is I my favorite movie. We'll agree with Revenge of the Sith. Sorry. I, would, I, I, I waited favorite, six hours so at Star good. Wars Celebration in 2014 to see it in 3D. Oh, wait, yeah, six hours. Be. They had it in 3D in one of the big halls. Oh, wait, it? six All hours. The people it was watching totally worth it. on the camera right here just, just saw my dude. jaw hit. Yeah. The- the, the table. I will tell you this. It's the only of the prequels that ranks that high at all. But well, it just oh, has my favorite so. of the prequels, but yeah, that's also saying, much. like, my favorite toilet paper is Charmin. Like, <laughs> it's still, like, <laughs> me too. <laughs> I like it. That I was like so it. great. <laughs> well, hey, I never claimed to be a good Star Wars fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hey, think you can like what you Revenge like. Revenge of the Sith was good. Yeah, I, I no, did my like favorite. it. But it's not my That's favorite. That's one of the newer ones, right? Do I need to pull my no. resume? Like, do I need to pull this? Be like, that I have a master's in fine art and film, and that I'm a high school film teacher. But see, that's why you can have more insight than me. I'm just a goober. I have nothing. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm Joe Schmo. Goober. Registered <laughs> goober. <laughs> I will give you the things that I love the most about Revenge of the Sith, okay? Is when Anakin pledges his allegiance to the Emperor, and yeah. you get that soft Imperial March, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, they that did great with the hits music. me goosebumps yeah. still, yeah. and mm-hmm. I don't like that movie but that'll still get me right it was so action-packed Th- yeah fine yeah. who cares but like, I so is like but here's the so thing. is law and order here's who the thing law and that? order is no, not no, action love that. That. i love that law and order <laughs> courtroom action right there i'll give you this if yeah, you're well. if you have like an eye for art and stuff like that the cg would probably drive you nuts i'm sure okay. it makes me want to be dead yes I don't have that. <laughs> I, there's, I look at it and I go, sure, this looks real enough. <laughs> there, there was, okay, I'm glad you uh, brought up the art aspect of it just because something that I noticed in Solo was the all the unnecessary lens flare. Oh, my like gosh. You're everywhere. It had, like, a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was like, random, what is this? Giant circular chocolate like, chip is cookie. It, is J.J. Abrams somewhere around yeah. here? What is going on with all the like, lens flare? Put the lens flare in. Okay, here's the thing. As a filmmaker, I was FaceTiming my girlfriend today. And I, and I actually said out loud, hey, Jess, you notice this sick lens flare I've got going on right now? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I know, yeah, I totally noticed. I was like, why is there so much lens that flare in this so movie? What we really need here is <laughs> how many hours did you spend finding that position where you wanted to stand before you face like, no, no, I, I set up a whole rig. I like, like, set up like, all, my, all my light panels. I get everything in there. All simulated lens flares. None of it's actually from the I sun. I love it. I love yeah. it. That's so good. That's so good. Okay. What were we talking about before this? I, <laughs> we okay, we're talking about the new no, no. Fast and See, Furious movie. This is what happens out. when I don't <laughs> have my script. I and, never and, know uh, where we're at. In terms of the new movies, so Force Awakens, oh, that's what uh, we're talking Last about. Jedi, oh, yes. Rogue One, oh, okay. and Solo. Where does this rank? Oh, so just the new movies. Just the new movies. Because oh. we take got out, off on the new uh, Take out originals. I like take that. out that's a prequels. Question. Yeah, it's a much better question. Take out both originals and prequels. Where does this land in new movies? Rogue One, Force Awakens, Solo, Last Jedi. I 100% Whoa. agree Rogue with this one. order. 100% one, I... agree with this order. Rogue One is number one for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to hate me again. <laughs> no, Rogue, Rogue One was super boring. Oh, you like Jordan's Jedi like, and Attack of the Clones. Why. Attack of the Attack Clones. Those aren't even the new ones. Because <laughs> I, I just hate sand. It gets everywhere. <laughs> what, was, what was the last one? The Jedi? Uh, the, the Last, last Jedi. Jedi. What, what, where did you rank that? Oh, last. last, last. That was last. I agree. Ooh, I yeah, agree. and and only because Glad I didn't see it. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's it's fun. Once again, there's a lot of really pretty things. There's a lot of really great things. <laughs> there's a lot of good parts in it. But like at the, the same time, hyperspace into a that ship one. into a dreadnought. Oh. Yeah, that was cool. That was. I great. did like the the uh, the idea of taking out all the sound for that as well too. Oh my god! I thought that was perfect. great. Yes. It was perfect. Yes. I know a lot of people complained about it. I thought it was uh, great. That's, no, that is the great. that is the most brilliant thing you could possibly. Yeah. All right, Cole, give us your uh, my ranking. Yeah, your rankings because we're right. running we're running a little long, but I'm gonna let it go because we love Star Wars so much. <laughs> it's true. Um, we can go for hours. Yeah. <laughs> I would go Rogue One. Uh, <laughs> Force Awakens, uh, Solo, and then Last Jedi. Okay, 
same so pretty much same thing. Yep. And so Joe, that's, you're pretty much on the same. That's thing. my yeah. order. Kipka as hasn't well. seen Last this, Jedi. This one above all. This one above all. <laughs> so everyone's gonna hate me because I go Rogue One. I agree with you there. Okay. Yeah. Last Jedi is next because I love Last Jedi. You're so cut weird. out, cut out Canto Bite, and that movie is I love. I love that <laughs> movie. Canto Bite was my favorite part because my favorite part because it was anti proletariat. Well, you like, want to know why it was my least favorite? It's because when it starts shaking a little bit and they're like, "What's that?" I thought it was gonna be pod racing, and I was just so disappointed. No, yeah. <laughs> it should have been pod racing. That would have been you a got, great like, really point. cute animals. Instead. I guess that's true. That's fine. So Rogue One, uh, Last Jedi. Um, You're weird. What else do we have here? <laughs> Force Awakens, Force, Force Awakens, Awakens and Solo, and Solo. Yeah. Solo Force Awakens. I'm not a huge fan of Force Awakens. Do you guys Awakens. like really? Uh, I think I, Force I'll, I'll watch it because it's Star Jedi. Wars, and let's be honest, I will watch anything Star Wars. Same. But I, I don't yeah. know. I get bored on that one for some reason. I get bored on Last Jedi. Really, I don't. I need to I rewatch feel like it. The middle of it. I don't is think so you do. Boring. I think I'm just weird. <laughs> I've also seen Last Jedi once. Okay, yeah, I've seen it like I, four I just times to, now. I, yeah, I've seen it. Do you guys times. like Rogue One because it's like cinematography wise? Just yes, it is, it's it is beautiful. beautiful. Cinematography Very wise beautiful is great, this, but it's just a I, great I like story. story. And not to mention, I guess this, I didn't have the right mindset for the story. I wanted more action. Bridges things so well. I think the trailers made it seem like it was gonna be like action. Well, also... Well, there are a lot of action Yeah, there's a lot of action. Rogue yeah. One, for me, is purely zero stakes. You know that they get the oh, yeah. star plans. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you go in not ever anticipating that they're going to fail. And you go in, you're like, this is going to be a blast. Yeah. Because yeah. we know they're going to Literally get a blast. Right yeah. But Ooh, the ending of blast. Rogue One is <laughs> so incredible. Mm -hmm. it, like, oh my gosh, really? that Darth Vader yeah. scene oh. kills me. Oh, man. It kills oh, no. me. Oh, and even, it's like yeah. Jason as... Darth Vader is Jason or whatever. Like, amazing. it's amazing. Yeah. And your and eyes just rolled up to the, the top of your head. Oh, amazing. The way they did it he where you came. can legitimately yeah. watch Rogue One and watch A New Hope right afterwards and they Pretty fit much. together seamlessly oh, yeah. was just Pretty a much. great idea. And, oh, Vader, that's. Uh, that, the, that's Goddamn another reason nerds. why I loved it so much is because we haven't seen an aggressive Darth Vader no. in a yeah. long time. That's true. Time. Because he was always just so, like, uh. Yeah, the last one was yeah. like old, fat, and nice. Uh, like, yeah, it was because George Lucas's whole mindset on the thing was like they're like knights with big swords. Right. So yeah. it's like mm -hmm. slow, like a oh, big bastard sword. <laughs> yeah. Slow, yeah. hitting big, the mic. Yeah, hitting the mic. Here. No, but he was like. So the last thing I want to like, mention damn, here, this guy's I posted badass. this on my on my Instagram account and the Reg My Podcast Instagram account. Star Wars Detours was an animated comedy Star Wars show that got canned after Disney bought Lucasfilms. Right. Which I'm bummed about because it looks so funny. And I was re-watching a trailer that they had played years ago for it because I was like, oh, I, I really wish this would come out. There's a funny joke where in A New Hope, remember when uh, Princess Leia and Luke go across the chasm, the chasm uh -huh. and they get on the other side? There's a scene where they have the stormtroopers go across, but they don't make it and they fall. But instead of falling all the way down the pit, they hit and they go, oh, it's a matte painting. We didn't finish the chasm. And I'm like, that is ingenious because it's a matte painting in the movie and they're breaking the fourth wall and being completely meta about it. Stellar. I was like, why wasn't this a thing? Why didn't this come out? So on that note, I just wanted to leave that out there for people to kind of check out on their so own. Look at Star out. Wars. I think I've never look seen a trailer for it now. Yeah, like tweet at Disney or whoever, Mr. Disney, to get Star <laughs> Wars Walt? detours. Walt. Give a tweet to Walt. <laughs> And, uh, at Walt. At Walt. That's um, on that, uh, follow us. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wreck My Podcast. Um, you can also find us on YouTube, Apple Podcast app, uh, Stitcher, Player FM, Castbox, all those areas. Leave us a rating and review. We'd really appreciate it. Um, we're, we're, and if you, what, do you, what do you guys got? Something you guys? You yeah, guys you guys want to plug anything? Up? You can, if you live in the Santa Clarita area, you can go to Pocock oh, on Wednesday go. nights and see Cam. Do trivia on for Wednesdays. the Trivia yeah. with Buds yeah. company um, I, on Wednesday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. It's a great time. Any, yeah, you're, it's fun. You're any very funny on the mic. To at Ryan yeah, Buds. any complaints, always go to at Ryan Buds because <laughs> he's, he's the one. Two yeah, D's. 2Ds because he's the one who writes the questions. <laughs> uh, so don't blame Cam for that. <laughs> Although oh you do God. make funny quips about some of the problems in it, which is always good. You I know? do. My favorite was a couple weeks ago. Uh, Ryan wrote a, an astronomy question mm -hmm. where the answer was nebula. And he wrote, uh, in astrology, <laughs> what is it called when the sun reflects off particles in space? <laughs> And it was just absurd. Like I, I feel like I, I, as a high school teacher, yeah. Like I, Ryan would fail all of my classes. Well, let's be honest. He gets most of his off Wikipedia. I love, I love his, I love his disclaimer. I love it his disclaimer true. when he does like more heady uh, things on his trivia podcast, where he's like, psychology is like, I don't know if this is right, but it's what I read on the internet. Like, yeah, okay, as long That's as, awesome. as long as you're saying that, I guess I'll, I'll give it. So yeah, Spoiler. you can check Cam out there. Um, 
Cole, you can check out in Guardians of the Galaxy oh. as Chris Pratt's uh, body double. <laughs> yeah. um, I do have one thing to say. If say anyone it. has, punch it, Chewy. If anyone Ooh. has any Ooh. ideas for a podcast or something that they want to hear, that's true. Hit us up. Yeah, hit us up. Uh, DM me because no one DMs a, me, and I really want the DMs. DMs. <laughs> write, write, a comment, write a comment on the Wreck My Podcast Instagram yeah. or on the YouTube channel. Write something. Lot, something you want to see or hear. A lot of what we do is nostalgia and pop culture based. So if you want to have us watch like a terrible movie and comment on it or even do like, hey, watch half of a movie and then predict the ending or something. Like exactly. do something fun one like that, you know. So if give you us have a good idea. any comment you give us, we will do because we're panderers and we want to be valid. Or just send nudes. And we're looking for something to do. <laughs> yeah, we are. Can we watch the episode of Pokemon where Ash dies and hangs out with all the ghost Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, my is God. Is this an episode? Yes, it is. I remember I own he hangs out with Ghastly and, uh, and Gengar. And Gengar. Hunter and I love Haunter. Yeah. I own it on VHS. <laughs> I'm going to watch it in my combo. Anyone else? I'm totally down. Away. Okay. I'm totally down. That's okay. our next one. We're doing Pokemon next. I love oh, it. I'm see so you so next week. And on yes, see this. you next Let's week. And on that note, thank you guys for coming and talking about Star Wars. Yeah, uh, hanging out in this weird yeah, warehouse with me uh, at my yeah. office. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. But if you didn't, screw you. It's my show. Goodbye. Punch it, you. Two punch it, Come on. Too many. <laughs> <laughs>